Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the immaculate name of Jesus Christ. Listen, today is just amazing. I'm so glad to be before you. In Ephesians 1 and 3, it talks about God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. And I'm somebody who likes to investigate and evaluate things, try to figure out how these things happen. So if God has blessed us with all these spiritual blessings in heavenly places, then we have to figure out why is it that we're not actually receiving everything. If we be honest about it, a lot of us are doing a lot of praying, you're tithing, you're giving, and you're not really seeing the benefits of being connected to God. Well, either the Bible is right or the Bible is wrong. And my friend, I choose to believe that the Bible is right, so then it must mean my perception of it or my understanding of it must be wrong. So that's what I have to investigate and evaluate. Now, if God has said that we have, yeah, he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, then what is stopping us from getting it? So I went over to the first Thessalonians Chapter 5, right about verse number 23, it shows that we have three parts. We have spirit, soul, and body. And I'm telling you, I found something in there as it relates to us being able to gain the things that we're supposed to have. Spirit, soul, and body. Now, the spirit is the part that God gives us. He takes it, he cleans it, gives us his Holy Spirit. And it's designed to bring us into this understanding of God. It ministers to our soul. But then the problem is that there's, a, that there's a body, and that body is working from old ways, old teachings, old understandings. So you can be born again, but not experiencing the fullness of God, because you're still operating on the old things. So now, God didn't, didn't save your body, he saved your spirit. And that can stop you from being a recipient of all of these good things that God has to offer us. So what I say is, that when we understand that God has saved our spirit, our spirit is designed to minister to our soul so that our soul could be saved, then he says in Romans 12, 1 through 3, he says, I beseech you to for brothers by the mercy of God, and you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. He says, be not conformed as word, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, and you may prove that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Now listen to what he says. When you are praying and you're saying, Lord, bless me with finances. Well, I've already blessed you according to Ephesians 1 and 3 with all spiritual blessings. Lord, take away this addiction. Well, I've already blessed you with all spiritual blessings. And you know that we've talked about God take this, God do this, and God never does. It's because he already has. He says, bring me your body. Offer it as a living sacrifice. So God says, I'm not coming to take your situation. If you want to get rid of it, offer it. Offer that thing that's interfering between me and you. So you have to kill that flesh by bringing it to God. God will purify it in the fire. And then that that remains, you keep. So what God does to keep us, to give us this blessing, renews our spirit. Our spirit then ministers to our soul. God says, bring that part that's fighting against you to me. And I'll kill it. But you have to bring it. Offer it as a living sacrifice. And watch me transform it and change it. And then that brings a closer intimacy with God. And then God releases the blessing unto you. Good measures, pressed out, shaking together, running over, unlimited what you can have when you offer God and allow God to minister to your spirit. Well, Pastor Buzzard, to you, I'm telling you, our doors are wide open. We're looking forward to seeing you. People are coming by. They're dropping in. People are joining. I wouldn't be left out. If I don't have a church home and I really need understanding of how to make this thing work, come on down. I'm going to teach you. We can work this thing together. God bless you until I see you again.